Hi, I'm Emily Kermack. Today we're going to have a look at claiming car expenses. From 1 July 2015, the ATO reduced your options for claiming car expenses down to two methods, the cents per kilometre method and the logbook method. Both methods have their benefits, both have cons, and which method is right for you will depend on your circumstances. So let's take a look in more detail. The cents per kilometre method is easier record keeping, more simple calculation, and generally suited to those with less vehicle use. You simply keep a, a record of the number of kilometres you're travelling for work or for business over the duration of the year, and you claim these using a set rate. Currently for the 2019 financial year, that rate is 68 cents per kilometre. The negative of this method is that you are limited to a maximum of 5,000 work-related or business kilometres per year. That gives you a total maximum claim of $3,400. If you're using your car a lot for work, you may find that this is quite limiting. The second method is the logbook method. This can allow for greater claims depending on how much you're using your car for work or business. Um, however, there are more record keeping requirements and the main part is that you must keep a 12 week logbook that records all of your trips, both business and private for that 12 weeks. At the end of the 12 weeks, you calculate your work related or business percentage use and you can claim that percentage of all deductions for your car. Again though, you need to keep all receipts of all fuel, insurance, registration, interest, and all of those details through the year on servicing. However, as mentioned, it can often lead to a greater claim if you are using your car a lot for work and business. So as you can see, both methods do have their differences and can have their benefits depending on your situation. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us or speak to your current accountant.